and this is part two of peanut butter and jellyfish. The jellyfish portion of the story is pretty obvious. It's three little short stories about customers and jellyfish or jellyfish tank sales. The peanut butter is kind of a reference to the sticky part of sometimes doing business in general. Story number one involves we did score on a jelly aquarium cabinet sale uh, to a shop in Illinois, uh, Old Town Aquarium, which is a very popular shop in uh, Chicago, Illinois. And I'm pretty excited that he's going to be reselling one of our jelly aquariums. I'm en route today up to my cabinet guy, which lives a couple of valleys away. Um, he's made the cabinet for my previous jelly aquariums. Uh, he also makes cabinets for my fish tanks as well, uh, or should I say the custom fish tanks. Um, this is a 32 inch jelly aquarium black laminate, gloss laminate uh, cabinet, and it's a two sided cabinet. So we're en route today to go pick up that cabinet. Um, and then in a couple of weeks, we'll take it, along with the tank, the filter system and such, down to the crating company. So come along as we drive on up to our cabinet guy and pick up that cabinet. We've safely arrived at our cabinet maker's location. We're here to pick up the cabinet, a laminated cabinet for a jelly aquarium system. We'll go ahead and load this up in the van. And there's nothing funnier than watching two old guys struggle to get something loaded into the truck. But with determination, they're successful. All right, so we've got the 30-inch jelly aquarium cabinet in there. This is the gloss uh, black laminate version. I thought it was a double-sided, but in fact it's only a single-sided. At least I hope so. I'll have to double-check the order when I get home, but um, I'm pretty sure that's the case. So all loaded up and ready to transfer, transport home. And then in another couple of weeks, we'll load it up again along with the uh, components. We'll go to the tank manufacturer, pick up the tank, and then take all the goods down to the crating company where we can ship it out to the customer. So the second story involves the potential sale of a large 48-inch in-wall jelly aquarium. Something like what you see here behind me that would be built into a wall. This would have been to a, a doctor in Louisiana. Uh, this doctor, we had gone back and forth on phone conversations as well as emails, and that doctor wanted the color change in LED lights in the aquarium. Well, my supplier was a local guy, and he kind of got out of it, which forced me to basically find a new supplier myself, and my previous guy had turned me on to his Chinese supplier, but things didn't work out with the Chinese supplier. So I ended up having to find my own Chinese supplier, which we were able to confirm all the components that I needed. Uh, I ended up placing an order. Uh, there was a few bumps in the road uh, getting the, the, the components here, but they did arrive. And it was shortly after that that um, this doctor asked me to um, make contact with his uh, construction company so they could incorporate or begin to incorporate the tank into the wall. Uh, or at least frame it out so that the tank could be placed into the wall. Um, and then in addition, uh, wanted me to make contact with a local aquarium service company uh, to help do the actual installation and of course pick up the maintenance thereafter. Well, somehow um, those two parties made contact with each other and it's kind of my fault for being maybe a little overly helpful. Uh, I gave the doctor the telephone number to um, Bucky, the local aquarium service person, uh, who I had yet to speak to beyond my initial conversation of, are you interested and can I send you this information? Um, somehow they had a conversation and whether intentionally or unintentionally, 
uh, Bucky uh, had said some things that basically um, scared the doctor away. Uh, the doctor called me and told me that Bucky had told them that um, uh, jellyfish didn't live very long, that it was very difficult, uh, that we were going to go through a number of them, um, yada, 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 yada. Uh, well, all of those three things to a certain degree are true, um, and being the one who is encouraging or promoting the jellyfish portion of the hobby, um, I feel that, not that I'm trying to hide that information, and truly I do believe that my own experiences, I am getting better at it, and that if the service person can become as good as I can, uh, then he will be successful uh, in a much more significant way, such as I have been. Um, but the reality is you, you, you want to make these people aware of some of the issues that they need to be prepared for so they can kind of skip some of the um, bumps in the road that I ran into. Well, whether intentionally or unintentionally, Bucky relayed all the negative aspects uh, of having jellyfish. Now, there is the possibility uh, that they foresaw an opportunity to um, talk a local uh, 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 potential customer into coming over and doing um, a fish tank with them, whether fresh water or salt water, and of course could much more easily portray that as being much easier than having jellyfish. Well, unfortunately, that doctor backed out. And again, I don't have a problem with you realizing you're over your head, um, that this is more complicated than you anticipated, uh, that you don't have the support uh, locally uh, there behind you, uh, so that ultimately you would not be successful. But what I do have a little bit of a problem with is I ordered all these components, uh, these LED lights out of China, uh, specifically for this job, and now that person's backed out, and I'm kind of stuck with all that inventory. And to a minor degree, I don't mind having the inventory because there'll be another sale that'll come along. I mean, all sellers have to kind of inventory stuff. You can't always work off customers' money. Uh, I mean, I carry refrigeration units here. I have the filters here. Uh, obviously, I just picked up the LED lights. Um, I take, typically wait and have the tank made um, when there's an order placed because there are a lot of variations in the tank, uh, see-through, not see-through, colored back, um, size, I've got five different sizes, so, uh, and that can be a pretty significant ex expense. So, <laughs> what I did was I responded to the doctor's email, his backing out email, and I basically said, I understand if you're uh, uncomfortable and overwhelmed with the situation. Uh, I, I said, if you would like to clear your conscience, then I have attached an invoice for the color changing LED lights, basically, basically the light hood uh, with the LED components in there and the little remote control, and said, uh, if you would like to clear your conscience, um, I've attached an invoice. Well, that was end of December, we're now into the middle of January, no check has arrived. Although, I did get an email just yesterday from the doctor uh, indicating that um, uh, he had not forgotten me and that supposedly a check was going to go out in the mail in the following week. Who I have not heard from is Bucky. Bucky is a local aquarium service person that I contacted and asked if he would be interested in providing aquarium service as well as the installation of one of my jelly aquariums. Uh, this is the same tactic I took years ago when I worked for a uh, large aquarium products company who manufactured lobster tanks and I was in charge of the uh, service network there and oversaw about 200 aquarium service guys. So it's the same process of seeking out and finding those local aquarium service people. I have to admit, this is the first time I've had one of them, I have to say, backfire on me. Essentially, what appears to have happened is after I approached Bucky, the local aquarium service person, and sent him information on how to service and install uh, one of my jelly aquariums, he uh, either made contact with or was contacted by the local uh, customer and somehow painted a pretty negative picture of jellyfish. 
whether that was through his um, lack of confidence or just being afraid or, or, or frightened of the whole project, or if that was intentional, um, was some in expectation that he was going to um, uh, get a local sale for an aquarium himself and do the aquarium service. The point of the conversation is, I telephoned Bucky right after the doctor called me to find out what did he say to the customer that had frightened her so much. And I was kind of head off uh, by the store owner who basically kind of pushed me off to the side and said she wasn't aware of what he had said and that he was busy, busy putting fish away and would call me back after he was done with that. Well again, that same telephone call went out at the tail end of December. It's now the middle of January. I've not heard yet from Bucky. So I can only assume that he's either embarrassed and knows that he screwed up the sale or he screwed up the sale so that he could get the local sale. In either way, uh, it hurt me. Um, obviously, I'm not going to get that uh, Jelly Aquarium sale, which is about a $5,000 sale. Are you ready for the Marine Aquarium Expo this coming March 31st through April 1st of 2012? This is the largest aquarium consumer trade show in North America and a destination spot for marine hobbyists. Held at the newly remodeled OC Therian Event Center and featuring over 100 exhibitors, speakers, demonstrations, and a huge product raffle. For more information, visit MarineAquariumExpo.com. Reef Hobbyist Magazine believes that our hobby, our fellow hobbyists, and the animals in our care are best served by the free distribution of quality information. Reef Hobbyist Magazine provides hobbyists with critical husbandry information with an emphasis on marine ornamental breeding efforts. Reef Hobbyist Magazine is available for free in local fish stores across the country, or you can subscribe at www.reefhobbyistmagazine.com. Hi there, my name's Jim Stein and you know me as the LA Fish Guy. Well, I also wear a couple of other hats. One of them is the jellyfish tank called the Jelly Aquarium, and the third is MyFishTank.com. I offer an entire line of acrylic aquariums ranging from rectangular to hexagon, flatback hex, as well as the custom curve front aquariums. There's also an entire line of stands and canopies ranging from MDF, to pine to oak with a variety of different finishes available and the website is even smart enough that you can calculate what the freight and crate charges to your location will be. That's myfishtank.com It's these local aquarium service people that I need to use because that's how I'm going to be able to install some of these jelly aquarium systems as well as provide uh, localized service because not everybody is interested in sticking their hand into the tank and servicing a jellyfish tank uh, or even understand what a saltwater aquarium requires. So the point is I'm going to continue to go about seeking out aquarium service people in the same manner. I'll just consider Bucky one of those fellows um, that <laughs> there's always one bad apple in the whole bunch and I always look at things when problems come about as learning experiences or the cost of education and in this particular situation I think the lesson learned was not to provide uh, that contact information between the customer and the, the service person uh, until the customer has put up some money because obviously in this particular case I've done a lot of legwork as well as ordered product based on just a verbal yes I'm interested, yes I want to do it uh, from this local doctor. And so as I've said many times before, um, just keep moving forward. And the third story is a local jellyfish tank service customer who's been successful in keeping his moon jellyfish and now he wants to explore what are called sea nettles. Sea nettles are the ones that have the long dangling tentacles kind of look like ribbon and lace. Quite often there's stripes in the bell. Uh, they're really quite a very attractive um, jellyfish. Uh, the realities are twofold, threefold really. One, um, sea nettles, they'll eat the same planktonic type food as the moon jellyfish, but they also desire some bigger pieces. 
in particular, they like other moon jellyfish. Um, the second issue is the tentacles on these longer um, uh, or bigger, uh, more dangerous uh, jellyfish uh, quite often get tangled up quite a bit. And as I hear, the local public aquariums, one of the first things they do every morning is go and detangle the tentacles uh, on the long jellyfish. Um, the third issue with uh, the sea nettles is they sting. Uh, and they sting, in some cases, pretty well, uh, pretty good, pretty bad, whichever word you want to use. Um, I don't think I really want to experience it, uh, and so I'm a little bit hesitant to go that direction which is really why the jellyfish portion of the hobby has not expanded much beyond um, a moon jellyfish um, because there's a little bit of a, a, a danger or at least a harmful aspect there. Um, we have spoken to our local fish wholesaler who is able to order from that Japanese broker that we got the moon jellyfish once before. Now I'm a little hesitant to go back to the Japanese broker because I had such a bad experience that time I bought that $5,000 worth of jellies for uh, Spencer and Heidi's tank and they just literally within a week fell apart and I pretty much have a very good idea as to why which is really it comes down to the, the, the quality of the system more specifically the quality of the water in their jellyfish holding system but that's a whole nother story. The uh, fish wholesaler uh, is in the process of making an inquiry with his Japanese supplier to confirm what species are available and when they'll be available. But at the moment, it appears to be just a very simple, I guess we'll call it a purple striped um, sea nettle or an Atlantic sea nettle. We had brought these in years before via a crab fisherman uh, just to see what would happen. And you would think a crab fisherman would know how to c uh, close and, and uh, clasp a bag so that the water wouldn't leak out of it. but. When the box arrived, all the water had leaked out because he'd used cable ties to secure the top of the bag. So I've not gone back that direction since. Combined with the, the stinging aspect, I've been hesitant, but we have a service customer who has basically said, if you can get them and you have a tank to hold them in, um, then why don't you learn a little bit about them um, before we bring them out to my place. Um, so basically he's paying me to, to educate myself on sea nettles. So at this time, uh, we're waiting to hear back <coughs> from um, uh, the fish wholesaler uh, as to when his Japanese supplier thinks that those uh, purple striped or Atlantic sea nettles will be available. The alternative uh, will be something more like um, me kind of doing what I call the Marlon Perkins thing. Uh, Marlon Perkins from Mutual of Omaha, which was a television show that was on when I was a little kid, and him and his trusty sidekick, who ironically, ironically, I think's name was Jim, uh, would go out into the wilderness and explore all these other opportunities and collect and, and culture things. And so uh, I jokingly refer to it as when I have to go out beyond the normal uh, realm of the aquarium industry, where I'm kind of putting the, the safari hat on myself, uh, I'm doing the Marlon Perkins thing. Um, so I'll keep you posted as to how that comes along. This is that jelly aquarium cabinet that we drove up to our cabinet guy yesterday to pick up. I've just unloaded it. I need to store it here in the garage for about two weeks. By then, the tank manufacturer will be done with the jelly aquarium, which goes inside the cabinet. I already have the chiller, the filter system, uh, and the water pump. I just need to pick up a handful of fittings and bulkheads and such. I'll then take all of that at one time down to the crating company, where they in turn will crate it, uh, and then we'll ship it out via truck uh, to the customer in Illinois. 